we've been doing plotting data on a graph, right? In a scatter plot, similar to what's on the screen. So we've got a data set. You can create this thing called the line of best fit, which is just a fancy way of saying a line that goes relatively in the middle of the data. Can you see that in the green line? So you can do this with your pencil and a ruler and stuff, but I thought it would be a bit more interesting if we did it with a calculator. So these are 10 students I surveyed. Their results for data tests in X and their results for uh, the final test in the Y. So put the X's into the first column. Oh, don't forget to label it. So X, 8, 8, 1, 4. Put in your Y values as well that correspond to those X's. We're going to do this thing called create a linear regression using this data. So you need to go um, control doc to insert a new page, data and statistics. The bottom one is the X. This one is the Y. And that's plotted a scatter plot of your data. Now we're going to we're going to create a line of best fit. It's called linear regression. So you need to watch this bit, even if you haven't got everything in. Just watch menu. We're going to analyze our data. This analysis, same as Excel, is called a regression. And we're going to do a linear regression. So it's put a line of best fit. Doesn't matter which one. It's created a line for us. You know, the y equals mx plus c thing. All right, so we're going to do the same question. I've got uh, 10 students. I've got the x values, which is the 10 students' data test values, and those 10 students also their final results on their science tests. So, so I'm going to do linear regression of this data. On an abacus calculator. So to do this we need to put the data into our abacus calculator. So you go mode, you go 2 for stats, and then go 2 again, and this is going to give us a linear equation. So type in all the values. So we got 8, enter, 1, enter. Alright, once we've done that, type in all our Y values and make sure they correspond to those X's that you just typed in. So 24 equals... Alright, so now you've got all your data. Press the on button. And you can see a little stat symbol, that means you've got all your statistics typed in. Then go second, click on the one for stat variables. Now we're trying to figure out, so we've just plotted all these datas on an imaginary graph and we're trying to find the line of best fit or the linear regression equation, the line um, equation that goes through the middle of that data. And this is called regression. So REG stands for a regression. So you want to know, um, I don't know if you remember, I'll go back. If you go to mode, stat, and see you have this A plus BX. So B on this calculator is the gradient of this line, and A is the constant. Alright, so if we go to second, press the 1, you can see reg for regression, and we need to figure out the B, which is the gradient of that regression line going through the line. And there's our gradient, 2.724. 
So if you're watching before, for the Ti, that's the same gradient as before. Now to figure out the plus C value, if you think of Y equals MX plus C, we have to go back. Y equals MX plus C, that's the M value. Just on this calculator, they call it B. So go second, variable, five for regression, and then press one, equals, and that's the plus C value. And that's it. Now we have our equation. Now we can use this equation to predict um, a data value on the line. So if you imagine this is the equation of the line that we've just found, and we want to know, let's say, um, if a student got two, what would be their y value? So you sub in two in there for x. So if a student got approximately two on their data test, they're going to get approximately eight on their final test using that linear regression analysis to predict that. And that's all. Thanks for watching.